This guide will take Link through the quickest way, but it will skip getting optional items such as the map and the compass. <clears throat> In the first room, use the hookshot to get across the gap and then head down the steps. I remember these whiz robe guys from Zelda 1, they were a pain. Don't seem to be nearly as bad here. Yeah. But if you wanna get if you wanna get something to eat then it's all good. Central chamber, climb down the steps and make your way to the maze in the northeast corner of the room. Okay. Wait, wait, northeast corner. Is that. Oh, up there? Oh, right, I think I know what to do. And not get hit by that guy. Yep. Oh. That's lame. I need to find a place where I can lower the blocks. Uh, I just have to tap the screen. There's a lone block to the left, and then head up the screen. Alright, let me backtrack. Oh, wait, I was, wait, what? Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I didn't kill them. That's a weird sound effect. Push that block to the left. To the left. To the left. Getting a small key. And after that, backtrack after you've gotten the small key, backtrack three screens to get to the large central chamber once again. Alright. <laughs> no, 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 the large central chamber. Well, oh. I mean, I guess you didn't move there anyways, but. Uh, let's see. This time, make your way to the northwest corner of the room and climb the steps. Okay. Walk to the, walk to the southwest corner and use the small key on the locked door. So there's a locked door down here. This one? No, 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 no. no. Well, wait. Yeah, the door that was just tapped that. Okay. Read the blue bar in this room, and it will drop a small key. to the door to the left or move somewhere else? Head to the left end. I think you can leave the... I think you can leave the switch as red. Ignore oh. the floor tiles. Oh, and head so, down so wait, I need this to be red. Maybe. Yeah. Ignore the floor tiles and just head down. Alright. <laughs> In this room, along with the room below, there are four torches. You need to first push the blocks out of the way. You know, quick access to the torches. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. Try it from the other end. Art. Yay. No, I mean try from their sides. Oh, I, I I thought that was a pit. Another heart. Wait, I think I messed up. <laughs> hmm. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it now. Let's just reset that. <laughs> Just push the top and bottom blocks and then push the middle block. Yeah. see any others you have to um oh, head this... down. Okay. Oh, these guys aren't been making things any easier okay, what did that do exactly walk no no, no head down oh. well uh, walk to the right Large wall will have moved. Wait. What? Oh, so they just despawned. Alright. Ah. Uh, some blocks and reset. Yeah. Wait, your shield can defend from the wizard class, can't they? Uh, maybe. They, sh they they should be able to. I don't like it when they're all like set up like that though. Ow. Goodness. There we go. Oh gosh, I'm all the two to How long is this gonna go on? Alright, what would that do exactly? Just move the wall. Oh. Fall down the gap on the right side of the roof to get to the floor below. Open the treasure chest to get the big key. Yay! Now that we have the big key, it is time to get the dungeon item. Walk left the screen and step into the warp portal. Alright. Do I need to go in here? Jerry stepped into the warp portal. Yeah, I went into the warp portal and went up a screen. Okay, walk right down and right a screen to get back to the main chamber. Oh. Oh, goodness. Oops. No, you're not getting away. No, no, no. Dang walk it. down. No, I'm trying to get a fairy out of that thing. Yeah, I think it's coming back. There we go. There we go. Okay, walk down. Right, right down and right. Then, let's see, climb down the steps to get to the lower floor and make your way back to the southeast corner of the room. Alright. Screw it. Uh, yeah. 
and climb the steps and head right to screen. Yeah, hearts would be nice right now. Ooh, we're back here. We go right screen? Wait, wait. wait. I, mean, I don't think, I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think this is the right area. Go back to the central chamber. You had to be on the lower floor. Oh, uh, hmm. Climb down the steps to get the low floor, make your way back to the southeast corner of the room. Right of screen. Oh, I need to go right of screen. Yeah, right. Down here, maybe? <laughs> oh, stuff up there. Head right again, I guess. Yeah. Okay, this is me. Yeah. This is a hook shot. Uh, I think I messed up. Oh, the hook. Oh, you're too late now. Yeah. You're gonna reset. Yeah. Oh, come on. Stop. Oh. It's lame. <sighs> nice. Came of Samaria. Yeah. Walk left the screen, and the blue blocks are lowered. Head up the screen. Well then, if the blocks are not lowered, jump off the ledge, climb the steps, and head back left the screen to the main chamber. Alright. Turn to the northeast part of the room, walk up the screen, and then right a screen. is going on oh, I found a switch so that helps that helps huh. there we go with a pot to find a small wait that's not it wait ah oh I get the feeling this is like the way to the dungeon boss yeah that probably was what was in that locked door earlier. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I think I'm just gonna use Mount Mirror. Alright, now I can just go back to the central room and be good. Hopefully. Turn to the northeast part of the room. Walk up the 
screen and then write a screen. It's part of the main chamber. Yeah. No, oh, does this guy count as well? Yeah. That part is missing. Like that door. Mm. So wait, can I go around to no wait? Uh hmm. I'm trying to remember how to do this. No. No, oh, this is going to be fun to edit. What's this? Right. Right. The northeast part of the room. No, wait, it is. Up and then right. Huh. And then lift a skull with a yeah, skull pot at the top. And head to the locked door. Let's see. Jump off the ledge and then head left the screen. Find the steps and use a big key to get through the locked door. Run down the pathway and climb down the steps at the end of the hall. The room is dark and the fireballs will constantly shot toward Link. Walk to the left side of the room and let the pot reveal a floor switch. And you can use a can of some Mario to create a so if we had a block to stand on the switch permanently. Oh. Wait. Okay. Oh wow, that's cool. Why isn't it working? There we go. Ah. No. And you left the screen right. in the area you can just No. No, no, you're supposed to go back to where you were. Oh. Uh, excuse me. This room? You, you need to create, you need to put the block back down. Alright. Oh, why is this so finicky? I don't want to pick it up. I just want to like... Okay, that works. Let's just... Do this. Let's see. You left it. Let's see. Oh, it Wait. just vanishes. Um, what's going on? Whoa, oh. Okay, I was gonna say. Can't you pull it? No, it just does. It just picks it up. It throws it way too far. I really uh, don't like being uh, in this room. Let's see. Continue down. 
I'll just go down. And then... I'm not, I'm not even sure like, where it's saying that Because once you use the cancel Mario on the block, open the nearby door. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, so avoid the enemies and continue left of the screen. Oh, right. Oh. This could be bad. Uh, carefully move around the blade trap and make your way to the left side of the room. Walk upward and you'll see a crystal switch across the gap. Yeah, I see the switch. Make sure it is red. Okay. And head through the, head through the door to the southwest portion of the room. Right. Uh, use a bomb to blow up the hole. We'll open a hole at the top of the room and head through. Nice dodging skills. I really like some fairies right now. Uh, yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could lower the switch and. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm. I believe should be fine. Oh, I can lower the switch here anyway. Be very careful. Yeah. Oh no. Wait, that's not the way to go. Isn't it? No, he went the wrong way. Head back down the screen with the blue block lowered, head left through the door. Okay, you were through there. You were uh -oh. in the right place. Not there. Right. I don't think. I think that's the last one we have as well. Oh, uh, yeah, this might be bad. Run up to the top of the room and hit the crystal switch so that it turns red. Uh, I thought I was a floor master for a second. Alright, we can get some fairies here. We just... Don't be... Don't keep missing. Yes. Right, let's just get the other one first. Actually, no. I feel like it's just gonna disappear. Ah. Wait. Goodness. Yes. Alright. Cool. Alright. Climb down the steps to get to the lower floor. This needs to be blue, right? No, that should be red. Oh. <laughs> I already fall on that. Walk across the lower block and open the locked door to take on the dungeon boss of Vitreus. Nice. Get another shot out of Fairy. Uh, let's just collect it, whatever. Alright, during the oh first phase. Vitreus will send out eyeballs towards like that, that can be quite damaging. Even with a tempered sword, these eyeballs take six hits to defeat. Oh, wow. The alternative way to defeat these small eyeballs is to hit them three times with arrows. It is more difficult, oh. but one benefit is that you can hit the eyes that are next to Vitreus. Be careful as during this phase, Link is limited to the bottom half of the screen. Whenever Vitreus is, whenever he turns white, he's about to shoot lightning towards Link. So either quick, he either run to the left side, or left or right side of the screen. All right. Alright, I think I got this. Ugh. It's just the same effect as the 
Aghanim fight. Uh, oh. oh, okay. Well, we got like two fairies, so. Is coming. During this first game of the battle. Oh wow. I'm just doing he can of He used a can of Burno just to mess with him. Oh. I just spammed arrows. That's fine. Oh man. Okay. I think that's five dungeons done uh, in the dark world. Uh, yes, it should be. Uh, I guess we can backtrack to get the get some goodies. All right. Actually, there are no goodies on the way to the it's a misery mire. <laughs> mm. So we can go straight to Ice Palace. Uh, yes. Uh, I've heard this is like what the a really annoying dungeon to go through. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Do you think you can keep going? For Ice Palace, yes. Okay. How's the recording going? Is it? Oh, it's only been an hour and a half. It's not that actually that bad. Alright, so, um. Oh, it's on the right side, so. Let's see. In the light world, play the flute and warp over to the eighth warp location. <laughs> Almost done this game actually. Just got a couple of things left on the slow. Jump into the lake and swim towards the center of Lake Hylia. Let's uh, do this, I guess, just because we can. <sighs> kind of need to refill our arrows anyway. So what's the limit we can uh, fill bombs and arrows? I forget. I keep on forgetting. Yeah. Like 60 would be a good amount, I think. But I'm not sure. Great luck, yay! I like to max this out before the end of the game if, po if possible. Oh, okay, that okay, we can't do it do any more any more uh, bombs, but what about arrows? At least they get the nice enough to give the rubies back. I feel like 55 is a weird number to end on. Oh, 
Is that it? Uh, okay. I just want to be sure. Seventy. That's probably the max. I can't do any more, so. Okay, let's get on with this. Ow. Oops. Dark world time. Oh, are we right on the palace? Oh, we are. Wow. Okay. All right, let's see what how this goes. First, several what? towards the ice house are fairly linear, and you shouldn't have much trouble. You'll need to have you'll need to have some magic to get through the early portions of this dungeon. All right. Use a fire rod to melt the enemy freezer and head through to, through to the next room. He did a lot of damage, though. The bottom of the enemy holds the key. Alright. Okay, I can kind of tell what people are going with the ice physics being a bit annoying here. A bit. We'll see how things... It all depends on how the level design works around it. Step on the floor, switch in the corner of the room, and continue onward to the next, to the next room. Bizarre. Push the block and head south of the room. You can turn, immediately turn around and head back to the previous screen, but if you'd like, you can use bombs to quickly defeat the pen, pen, pen gators and allow you to acquire the compass. Oh just... my gosh, there's penguin gators. Oh, yeah, now I get it. Isn't there a similar... the uh, penguin... That there's a penguinator in the Sonic uh, series, I think. I think it's called that. At least there aren't, aren't any holes in this place right now. Oh gosh. I feel that's gonna that's gonna happen at some point. Evil mist. Dude. Back in the block room, push the block northward and head right a screen. Alright. Lift the bottom skull and step on the floor switch. To open the doors. Walk left. Uh. Walk back. Oh my. Walk back to the left of the screen. Okay, just go left again. Uh, yes. Ow. Yeah, they're doing so much. Let's see. Can just go up, Step I on the floor switch. Wait. Let's see. Step on the floor switch, push the block, and this time head up the screen. Alright. Not even gonna bother you. <laughs> Hit the switch to lower the blue blocks. Place a bomb next to the crystal switch and then run to the top of the room. Ah, right, that's clever. Oh, I was, I was stuck for a minute. Pull down. Yeah. Walk to the northeast and southwest part of the room, and two Stalthos King knights will drop down. Slash them at once with your sword and then place a bomb to blow them off, causing the door to open. Oh, do I have to bomb them? Oh. Nice. So you see the some Ocarina enemies. Guess they originated here. There's a series of blue barry and babasu enemies in this room. The second blue barry must be defeated as it contains a small key. Grab it and head through to the west end of the room. What number uh, color does the switch need to be? <clears throat> the crystal switch is on orange. Alright. Let's make sure it's on orange, rather. Yep, there we go. 
lift the pot at the southwest corner of the room to find a floor switch, and then make your way to the right of screen. Yeah, so far it seems like the most the danger, mo more dangerous rooms are on, on ice based. Ignore the enemies and continue down to the floor below. Okay, that just opens up. There are a series of pen gators in this room. If you have the bombos or quake medallion, let just use it once to defeat all the enemies at once. No, oh, well, the spin attack did most of it, so that's fine. Oh my goodness, what? That's kind of cheap. How do I... okay. The door to the left. Down on the steps. Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, this is just not planned. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is... Why can't it just go down? That is really picky. That is awkward as well. Wait, what the heck? At the entrance below, just fall down the crack on the right side of the room. Alright. And walk to the right two screens. Ooh. Let's see. The first pot just north of the entrance you came to contains a small key, so be sure to grab it. What are those things? I'm just gonna wait for it to come to me. Ugh. So I really don't want to take an unnecessary uh, loss of fairy of a fairy right now. Oh. Ugh, I guess I am. Just give me the fairy! <laughs> Yay! Wait. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, that killed him. I'm just gonna kill all of them, see if it does anything. Or I can miss. That works too. Oh, a switch. Ah! Ah, yeah, screw it. I do want to get full health though, that'll be nice. Top right block of the floor isolated box to find a floor switch. Step on it and head down the screen. Uh, quickly, quickly run by the fire and head left the screen. Alright. Oh my goodness, it just suddenly went up. Don't know if that was me, like, not noticing why, where I, uh, Held the control stick, but okay. Yeah, I can I can understand this being annoying. Remember, you do have the um, what's it called the magic cape. Oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, head left screen for screen. Lift the pot and step on the floor switch to create a treasure chest. Nice. And head back the staircase, back up the staircase. Quickly run through this room and head through the locked door. Just ignoring all the boats. Carefully make your way to the north end of the room and head through the door. Uh. Quick short time. 
Oops. Actually, yeah, let's just kill all these guys. Oh, I like how they're just standing on the on the abyss. Um, this is awkward. Head up the staircase. Those things are so weird. I was trying to cross the gap, and then I had the staircase in the top right corner of the room. Use the hammer to smash the moles and lift the rock to find a small key. Oh, hi. Alright, uh, let's just get rid of this. Why am I reminded of sand from Undertale? Oh, I thought you, I thought you just said sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating, and it gets everywhere. What if the younglings had sand, Harry? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, it just makes me turn back to Rabbit Link. That should be a Smash Bros costume or something. That'd be funny. Yeah. This has to be like that. Oh. <laughs> Hold the tongue of the statue up to open the door and head right of screen. If you like it, there's a fortress that can create the treasure chest, treasure chest containing the dungeon map. Kinda of clever, actually. I like that. Climb the steps. Climb the steps and lift the pots to reach the treasure chest. Oops. Nice. Then head back down the stairs. <sighs> Head back left of the room and then down the staircase. Right. <clears throat> Lift the pot to get out. Step on the floor switch. Oh. Use the hook shot to reach the chest. Once again, our small key. Quickly dash across to the room to the left and head down the staircase. In this room, you can use the fire rod to defeat the two freezers, causing a treasure chest with some bombs to appear. Use a bomb to blow a crack, blow a crack in the floor to the left. Was I supposed to go in here? Uh, I think you. I think you jumped somewhere ahead. Back to where you found the found the um, found a treasure chest earlier. Alright. That is really cheap. Yeah, this chest. Alright, and then let's see. It says head down says use the chest to reach the chest and open it again or small key. Quickly dash across the room to the left and then head down the staircase. I'm assuming it means down here by staircase, so. No, that's the left room, so. Wait. Oh, gosh, damn it. Hmm. Oh, I, I like how it still made me lose magic even though it didn't work the first time. Oh, 
Oh, this is bad. Oops. Oh, he's like off the map. That's not fair. Oh, goodness. He just left. What is actually going on now? That is... He's completely screwed up. Dash across the room to the left and head down the staircase. I'll go left then down. What? Wait, use your second like boost just to. Oh, that that's what it means. I thought it meant something else. I thought it just said that to be funny. What said what to be funny? Like just go, just go left, then go in that room with the spiky thing, then go down. I like the vein, that's so precise. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, dang it! Please don't be an actual death. Oh my goodness, no! That's bad. That's very bad. <laughs> 